four years ago this week. Some same sex couples rushed to the Lucas County Courthouse because they could legally get married for the first time. Emma Henderson sat down with the first man to get married after the ruling. Tonight he shares his fight for love and equality. It was a whirlwind. Everybody from the media was there. Uh, I didn't need a wedding uh, videographer. I didn't need a wedding photographer. Everybody else was taking the pictures for us. And we have videos from the news channels. And it's, it was wonderful. This footage from four years ago caught Jim Shipman and husband Don Weiler during the happiest moment of their lives, when they weren't sure would ever come. But it just kind of made you feel more of a part of society, I guess is how I'd put it. Um, more of a normal part of society. And uh, being accepted is a big deal. But their marriage and life after is just one short chapter of a 24-year relationship. They met in 1990 while working at the Betsy Ross Diner in West Toledo, but it was five years before their first date. I left him a note at the restaurant that said, uh, would you like to meet outside the restaurant sometime? And he accepted. At that time, holding hands in public was a radical act for same-sex couples, but that didn't stop them from moving in together four years later and building a life. I think that's when we realized that was this, and uh, we were going to just be a, a partnership forever. They became domestic partners in 2007, traveled the world together, and while Jim hoped they could one day be married, Don never believed it could happen. People were becoming a little more accepting, or so it seemed, and I thought, you know, this could happen, this could happen. And it did on June 26, 2015. They got to the courthouse as quickly as possible with Jim still in his swim trunks from work and legally got married. The shame of being gay and growing up when I did, uh, it kind of melted part of that away. This year is Jim's first time remembering their anniversary alone after Don lost his battle with esophageal cancer earlier this year. But he can still look back on the day where they made history and remember the love of his life. Donald was the most amazing man in the world. And I wouldn't be where I am today without him by my side. In Sylvania, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11.